welcome to another time of devotion. I greet you all in the name of Jesus and I know that we are all at this time facing some challenges with this lockdown. Perhaps there's things that you wanted to do, uh, plans that you had that have all been cancelled. Maybe you're just worried and, ang and have anxiety about things that you're not able to control. And this got me thinking of a wonderful verse from 1 Peter 5 verse 7. It says, cast all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Be alert and of sober mind because the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him. Stand firm in the faith because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. And the God of all grace who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, after you have suffered a little while, himself will restore you and make you strong firm and steadfast now isn't that the most encouraging verse we really need to hear at this time first it tells us cast your anxieties on him so whatever worries and challenges and anxiety you have cast them upon god give them to god have you or are you holding on to them like a trophy give them to god you might ask why should i give any of my issues to god well it's clear he says he cares for you if you care for someone and you love someone or and someone is struggling wouldn't you want to know you often hear about people who talk about someone who's committed suicide and they always say i wish i knew that person was going through a struggle well god wants to know because he cares about you then in the next verse it tells us how we need to be aware of the dangers of this world not to underestimate the devil or the evils of this world i guess in this time of uncertainty with this possible threat of this COVID virus, which is really prowling around like an invisible lion. We need to be prepared and on guard. We need to be alert and of sober mind. This would include things like staying at home, keeping our social distance and sanitizing everything. What is really real for me in this verse is that just because you cast your cares on God does not mean that troubles will not come near you or try and attack you. This verse talks truth that there is and will be issues in our lives. But what we need to do is resist him, stand strong, stand firm in the faith. Because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of sufferings. What this virus has shown us and the world, that no matter how famous you are, rich, wherever you live, poor, old, young, you are all suffering the same. For the first time in a long, long time, the world is united in its suffering. So you're not alone. Your cares and your worries are the same as the person who lives in America, Italy, England, New Zealand, wherever. We share the same anxieties, the same concerns. Don't feel alone. You know, I personally have family that are living overseas and we talk and the same issues we're facing with our lockdown, they're facing as well. So we all have the same problems. But then the next verse talks of hope. And it says here, it says that after you've suffered a little while, he himself will restore you and make you strong, firm and steadfast. Don't lose your hope. Put your trust in God. Notice it says, while you have suffered a little while. It's talking truth. You will suffer, but it'll only be a little while. You will be restored through Christ if you keep your focus locked on him. You don't need to be locked down, but rather locked on. Have faith and trust him. Remember that the person who cares for you created the universe. He is sovereign above all, so do not fear. I believe that the suffering we're all going to have to endure will make us stronger. Families will be closer. People will emerge from this with clearer vision on what is really important in their lives. So I encourage you during this time of isolation, spend time with God. Pray. Read your Bible. Grow closer to Him. You don't have any more excuses. You cannot be too busy to do this. You don't have all those distractions. Be still and hear from God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, at this time, I just know that there's people that are facing challenges. And Lord, I just pray that we all cast our burdens on you. I pray that you will lift all these issues and worries and concerns. Lord, that you will make us stronger. And Lord, that we will emerge from this better. Lord, I just pray that if there are people that are struggling with these, these anxieties and, and concerns, Lord, that you'll just give us that peace. And Lord, that we are just able to focus on you 
and not of the distractions and the worries. Lord, I know that during this time, Lord, that uh, people will often feel fearful. But Lord, let us just put our all our cost, all our pain and fear and anxieties on you. And so, Lord, we just pray this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Thank you.